my mom's friend, Ted Maiman, invented the laser beam. Oh, yes, And so yes. when I was little, I went into, his, I, he was friends. He actually was a science advisor on my sci-fi comic book, Black Tide. Oh, fantastic. I was, I was able to talk to him and ask, I'm um, jealous. I, I said, you know, okay, I want to make this microwave laser gun. What, you know, what, how long is a beam going to last? And all this stuff. So he gave me the mechanics of it so I could tell the person, Mike Miller, how to draw it. But also I was interested in, in how the particles kept together and the, you know, all the different ratios and rates and things like that. And then we made an antimatter ray gun. And I was surprised to learn that antimatter and matter, when they collide, it'll just be little teeny things, little teeny explosions. It's Yeah. not like it's, I thought it'd be this huge thing. Well, there's not a lot of energy, but there is a lot of it, it depends on the scale you're looking at. If you're if you're an electron, that's a have an awful lot of energy. If you're not an electron, it's a very small amount of it. Yeah, but they they uh, attack each other. They don't attack Yeah. in clusters. Right. So Right. that was interesting to learn. But um, I went into his lab when uh, after school a, a couple of times actually, and Yeah, he that had was all these a huge all these research gadgets. up in Yeah, Bellevue, I presume. Yeah. he was, had all these gadgets. Um, he had like a television. This was before any of this was invented. Before Mm they had all the lasers you use in medical and things like that, um, and he had a, a sewing machine and all the different colors. He had he had separated all the beams, so he had green pointing one way and blue another -hmm. way and red. And um, and he was saying that, you know, they, they don't harm you or anything. But I noticed in his back pocket, he had these little teeny burn holes from where, where his wallet was in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, just got think, it. I don't think he knows that he like that something was burning his pocket. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. I was at UC Irvine at the time as a graduate student. He came down to Irvine and gave a lecture and he pulled this ray gun out of his pocket. And there, there had, a, had a balloon floating on the other side of the lecture hall and he popped the balloon with his laser ray gun. Uh, so, I mean, that's Yeah. the kind of person he was. Oh, he He was did, funny. he was just And, a, oh, he was a neat guy. He really what a was. neat man. I love Yeah. him. And his wife, Kathy, was wonderful, too. Yeah. Um, she she went to, um, I probably shouldn't say this, but I, I'm going to say it anyway. We were at lunch one time with my mom and, and them. And Kathy had just invented um, nipples for people after the, they have breast cancer Yeah. surgery. Mm -hmm. She made these nipples that were like fl real flesh-like. Yeah. And so she had them in a little box and she went around the... the restaurant saying, would you like to see my nipples? <laughs> <laughs> I think I like this lady. <laughs>